I wanted to walk you through the basics on editing the pages, especially for what we're doing here, for editing the actual content of these pages. So it's actually pretty simple, and I'll walk you through it uh, here very quickly. It'll only take a few minutes. Uh, so first, we need to go to All Pages. Now, as we are editing the page names, uh, you have sent over to me a list of uh, page names that we're going to search for. And I've done most of these already, as you can see. I'm just doing a quick search just to find them, but I've found one that I have not done yet. So let's do this one together. Now, we'll head over to the top of the page, or any one of these, to be honest, and I've installed a plugin that allows us to clone content. So we'll clone this page. Now, once it's cloned, the reason why we're cloning it is because we want the format, because the format's already been done, which is pretty cool. So now we'll go into Quick Edit. We're going to change the front name of it. And we'll also change here. And by the way, you can pause the video if I'm going too fast. Uh, it's no problem. And be sure to take off copy at the end of the title of the page and hit Update. Now that we put the page name in, you'll notice it's listed here with the correct name. Now we'll go in and actually edit the page now. When editing the page, a couple things are going on here, right? Uh, first, it's very simple because all of the content has been put out in a standard, uh, almost text format. But there are certain areas that I prefer that you've stayed away from only because uh, there are more complicated short codes that are uh, included within this content. And just to give you a quick example, the short code area that you see is right here where you see tagline. Whenever you see something with tagline in a box, it usually means that's me doing custom stuff in there to make things happen. However, you can go in and make simple changes inside that short code, which we have to do anyway. So first, let's start off with the title because obviously it's wrong. So we'll change that title and retype whatever we want. And we can go into the content and retype whatever we'd like. But the important part here is when we go down to the short code, which is down on the bottom here, you'll notice that uh, on all of the short code, I have a custom tag, which I think is really important. And it says, need more information about hiring in and then the country name. Just highlight the country name only and then paste in the new one, right? And then publish. Now, when you do this, you've just made the page uh, live online, right? Which is cool. And later on, what we'll do is show you how to put in this menu now, which is also pretty simple, but it does require a little bit more complicated uh, work, but just so that you know, as we're doing this video, let's go in appearances, widgets. Now on the inside of the widgets, uh, you'll notice here, we've got several widgets, right? We've got like a ton. And uh, inside these widgets, basically what these are is it gives me uh, uh, control of uh, the menus themselves, right? So if you go through, you notice here, photo widgets, these are the widgets that are down on the bottom of the page. This is the sidebar widgets that we're using here. But inside the sidebar widget one, right here is where I actually have that button drop down that hap happens within the site. Now I built this custom because there really was no other way that it could be done uh, that I thought looked good, to be honest. All right. So uh, the way to actually build these pages is a little bit more complicated, but honestly, it's, it's not rocket science. Uh, so uh, here is the first one, right? So let's, let's go into, uh, let's say we're going to do Albania, right? So let's go in now and grab, let's grab this guy right here. I'm going to copy this line of code right here. And uh, let's hit a return and paste in that code at the top. But the difference is I'll put in Albania as the option here, right? And let's make sure we take out any spaces. And then we'll need to go in and find that actual page for Albania. Now, for you to get that link, just go pages, all. And then when you're inside the pages section, just see where you see Albania here. Just click view. 
Now, when you click view, it comes up with a, a path to that page, which is right here. We're going to highlight that. And then we're going to simply update Albania like this. Ba-boom. Right? And so there we go. So Albania now has been added. We simply save. And that completes the process of building the page and also adding menu items. I will tell you, though, that this section here is very delicate. <laughs> so uh, please don't save unless you're 100% sure that you've done it right. And because I've only done it 8 million times <laughs> is why I have the confidence to just go for it. But you see, it's pretty simple to do, right? And I can always create another video for you whenever you get lost. It's actually easier than talking on the phone, right? Okay, have a great weekend. We'll see you.